If the last 24 hours have been tough, well, you're not alone. The crypto market has crashed again, adding to an already miserable week. Bitcoin is desperately trying to cling on above 30k, while almost every other coin or token has suffered double-digit losses over the week. But today, all of the talk is of Terra and UST. Now, it's not so long ago that Terra was the darling of the crypto market, buying up boatloads of BTC to create a reserve for its UST stablecoin. With the market as a whole buckling under the pressure of a bleak macro outlook, the Lunar Foundation Guard's buying spree was a welcome bit of bullish news. UST itself has soared to become the largest decentralized stable on the market, and Do Kwon, Terra's always entertaining founder, was shitposting about killing Dai. Luna pumped to an all-time high of almost $120, and everything was just awesome. And then yesterday happened. UST didn't just part from its peg, it divorced the peg, moved out of the house they shared, deleted the peg's number, blocked it on Twitter, bought a motorbike and moved to another continent where it hooked up with a peg almost half its age and all its friends had to stage an intervention. Luna, meanwhile, dropped off the north face of the Eiger and out of the top 10 and is now receiving urgent medical attention. It has, to put it mildly, not been pretty and it ain't done yet. So, what happened? How was such a disaster possible and what does it all mean? Well, before we get into that, let's quickly revisit how exactly UST works. Now, you'll remember that Terra is a platform that makes it possible to mint decentralized stablecoins using its native Luna token as collateral. UST, its US dollar stablecoin, is by far the most popular of these and there were around 18 billion of them in circulation until very recently. So Terra uses a mint and burn mechanism to create UST and maintain its parity with the dollar. So let's say you wanted to mint some UST. To do this, you have to burn some Luna. Let's pretend that one Luna costs $10. That's not so hard to imagine anymore, is it? Burning this 10 bucks of Luna would mint 10 UST. And now this also works the other way around. You could burn those 10 UST and create one Luna. And it's this mechanism that enables UST to theoretically maintain its peg. Now let's say UST soars above its peg to trade at $1.50. Anyone holding Luna can swoop in, burn that Luna to create UST and get 50% extra UST as profit. As more Luna holders do this, the amount of UST in circulation increases. This increase in supply pulls UST back towards its $1 peg. And of course, the reverse is also true. So let's say UST slips below its peg and trades at 50 cents. Again, this is no longer that hard to imagine. Anyone holding that UST can burn it to mint Luna. They'll double their money in doing so. This means UST is being taken out of circulation and so the price climbs back up towards its peg. Now this clever setup is very different to centralized stablecoins like USDT and USDC. These are supposedly backed by assets like actual dollars in a bank account and government or commercial debt. I say supposedly because, well, in USDT's case, we can't be sure because Tether, the company which issues it, won't submit to a full audit of its reserves. And many worry that Tether is simply printing USDT out of thin air. So this and the fact that the issuer of a centralized stablecoin can restrict a holder's access to the coins they hold, and this has happened in the past, has made many wary of using them. UST is seen as a decentralized and safer alternative. At least, it was. Terra had also made moves to buttress USDT against any sudden market downturn by buying around $1.5 billion worth of BTC to create that reserve. So why did UST plunge off its peg and down to 66 cents at one point? Why is it still only in the low 90s as I shoot this? And what can be done? Well, there's a lot of speculation flying around, but the simplest explanation seems to be that the most recent drop in the crypto market is the most likely culprit. As BTC and the rest of the market dipped, Luna did too. Remember that the macro landscape at the moment is 
really as bad as it's been in a long time. Now, holders of UST saw this and became worried that its peg might not hold, so sold their UST just in case. This caused more Luna to be minted, which further pushed Luna's price down. This, in turn, caused more UST to be sold, a death spiral, in other words. The Luna Foundation Guard, the buyer of all that BTC to back UST, was forced to sell that BTC to try and refloat UST, resulting in more sell pressure on BTC and hence the crypto market as a whole. An already grim situation was made a lot worse. So as I shoot this, it appears that the venture capitalists that invested big time in Luna are now having to pump in more liquidity to try and keep the show on the road. The likes of Three Arrows Capital and Jump, still reeling from the wormhole disaster in early February, are having to stump up some serious liquidity to try and avert further disaster. So this whole mess is, well, it's still playing out and UST has still not regained its peg. My guess is that it will because there's simply too much at stake if it doesn't and the likes of the aforementioned VCs have deep enough pockets to plug the hole, take their L and regain confidence in the peg. However, tomorrow's CPI numbers are galloping towards us and many fear that if they are bad and there's a more than decent chance that they will be, then the markets will throw their toys out of the pram once more. More volatility, more long dark nights of the soul. So buckle up. <laughs>